What's going on? How y'all doing out there? So the video going to be about the Dwayne Wade once said that Michael Jordan will soon be forgotten amongst the greatest and be pretty much forgotten. And I wanted to get my own take on it because I'm a huge D Wade Wayne fan. As far as basketball goes, as a basketball player, he's tied with second for my, for my take with Kobe for as the second greatest two guard because Jordan's got to be by himself. But I had those two tied. Leadership, drive, the whole nine. That's how I feel. And I'll debate anybody about it. And yes, you can tie people. No one says you can't. But I don't think no one is going to, no one's touched Jordan. But I think those two are tied for different reasons. But let me address what he said. I didn't find it offensive. Um, especially in black culture. Um, more often than not, we soon forget about our greats or we move on. Now, Jordan won't be forgotten because of the brand of the shoe. And he played in relatively memorable time slightly over 20 years ago. But that wizard's time isn't that memorable. Not not at his heyday, not his peak, his prime, when he won his six chips with the, with the Bulls, six and eight years, etc. And he was more dominant, but Space Jam, etc., etc. The shoes and the brand is still there. However, LeBron James' teammate, Anthony Davis, who says, and he's uh, 32, I believe. So basically, if you're around that age and younger, you didn't really catch Michael Jordan Man, his peak in his prime. He's seen all he knows is LeBron. Because you got to remember, AD been in the league, what, 12, 13 years, right? All he saw was LeBron James. That's what he saw. There, Or he saw the caught, caught the ends of Kobe. He caught glimpses of Shaq. He caught Duncan, Kobe, mainly. So there's areas when you don't catch people. So I know what Dwayne Wade was saying. Because... D. D. Wade his own self is not remembered as much, especially if you if you didn't if you only go by the old six the dominance of him through 09 or 2010, you didn't catch him at his apex. It happens, but what happens in black athletes? They're not as romanticized as their white counterparts. Yeah, I know somebody gonna say, "Well, wait a minute, racial," because it is true. You know, you got to be around 20, 50 years, and you got to be great or something, or 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 got to have something that keeps you lineage because. There are reasons why they bump you off. They're doing it now. There will be people that won't remember Shaquille O'Neal. They'll look at him like they do Will Chamberlain, just think he was big and he ran over some milkman. You know, they will eventually say it about Kobe or D Wade, or they'll say it about uh, Allen Iverson. That you know, you know, they'll they'll find ways to minimize, to solidify what they got because they're doing it now. They are doing it now. I mean, everybody that you see now, Steph Curry. That will be the most polarizing one because you really can't compare him from nothing in the past and he represents everything to the present, probably more so than any other player that I'm just going. But Dwayne Wade wasn't wrong that they will forget Jordan in that GOAT conversation and also the what he did as a player, even with video and all that, because the game has changed. When I mentioned Steph Curry, they weren't shooting threes like that. As great as Larry Bird... Ray Allen, Reggie Miller hitting threes. Um, um, who else I'm trying to think of? Dale Ellis. I can name names. I just, you know, it's come. It's a different era. And they move towards that. So it's like when I talk about Jokic. If you didn't see Sabonis at all, you've not seen Sabonis. And since he didn't win and Jokic did... And then Sabonis came up here older. There will be some uh, 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 foreign players. Dirk will be almost not quite the same. You know, it's going to happen. It will happen. But the Jordan thing, because you remove yourself. Now, in the early 00s, when Shaq and Kobe, Shaq became the face of the league after Jordan, and then they branded, and, and Kobe was like a robot, AI, AI version of him, that was different because there was this hunger and wonder about Jordan. He still hovered, even despite Shaq and Kobe's dominance and with Vince Carter and everything and with Tim Duncan and all that. I would tell you probably when Shaq and Kobe went their separate ways, that's when that kind of kind of slowly went by the wayside and when Jordan retired for good. And then gradually we got into the OOs and then, you know, when they tried to hype up LeBron and Kobe and then uh, then, you know, but it, it it was there to 20 years ago. I still think early OOs for sure, even when he's, you know, regardless of his situation. But that came and went. And the more and more time goes by, 
It's a different criteria. But those in the know ain't going to forget. But I know what D-Wade was trying to get at. It's not offensive at all because it happens to all the greats. You know, there are people, we talk football, they're not going to remember Joe Montana because Brady had such gaudy big numbers and he had numbers and he almost doubled them in Super Bowl wins. People in the know remember and historians will go back, but there'll be a segment that won't. That's not their fault. That's just the realities of the world. Just like Patrick Mahomes, the way he's winning, there are going to be people, believe it or not, he wins a three-peat or he wins multiple rings. Montana goes further out the abyss and then even Brady starts to. So, yeah, no, dominance and success. Tiger Woods will stick around. Serena Williams will too. But a lot of this because, and also got a lot of people in the NBA and won multiple rings. Shaq won multiple rings. Dwayne got multiple. LeBron's got multiple. Kobe got multiple. Steph's got multiple. Durant. Kawhi won some. Point is, it's not as big as it once was to win a bunch of rings as it was. And Jordan made that fashionable. And now you got a lot of guys who walk around a lot. So success. So it, it's a different spin on that. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another shitter if you like my piece.